Hey everybody, Klaus here, welcome back for more Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse! Last time, we took on the oh-so-amazing Love Lost Good Baron! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry, it's I love Good Baron so much! Oh, my all-time favorite character within the Shantae universe and my favorite filler boss of this game! Alright, we're gonna go from like super amazing to just outright creepy because this time we're gonna be going to the mud bog island. Oh my god, that island! Uh, why do I have to do this? Alright, off screen. Holy mainness. I did a lot of gem grinding, and as a result, I've upgraded my hair to its maximum capacity. I also upgraded my, um, uh, my damage and my, um, ripping speed. I've also upgraded my pistol to its max capacity. I've gotten the polish for my scimitar. And I got the heavy kick skill. The heavy the heavy kick art book, I mean skill. If I can show it here, right, right here. Hold A and press A. There you go. It's actually a pretty strong attack, I gotta say. Although, um, I don't tend to use it a lot since... Well, it's kind of has a little bit of a delay in, a delay in its attack, but whatever. Actually, before I go, I'm just kind of going to buy three or three potions. Just to be on the absolute safe side here. Okay. With all that out of the way, let's proceed onward. To that creepy locale, Mud Bog Island. <clears throat> Lan Ho, welcome to Mud Bog Island. It smells kind of bad. We've cut off three fifths of the Pirate Master's power. He should have noticed by now. Even from the grave, he'll attempt to impede our progress somehow. But enough of that. We have something more to discuss. Oh? I think I figured out the origin of the dark magic. How? Process of elimination. Uh... Yeah, totally the best way to figure out everything! Not... No, not really. You don't want to rely on process of elimination for everything. When the genies defeated the pirate master, they had to drain themselves completely to get the job done. They reduce them to mere ash and bone. Without magic to sustain them, the genies faded from this world. No more genies with their light magic. No more pirate master with his dark magic. Just you. Me? When I borrowed your magic to suit my purposes, I made a wish, remember? You took over my magical half and used it for evil, so... You turn into dark magic? That's right. But I destroyed it after that. Perhaps, perhaps not. It's more likely that you scattered the magic. Why would you say that? Because magic can never truly be destroyed, can it? I don't know. I honestly don't think that magic can actually be destroyed. Not long after that encounter, the curse placed upon me began to take effect, indicating that a new source of dark magic has been found. <clears throat> Whatever the magic's origin, we can, we can worry about it later. You've got another den of evil to find. Could this be true? Power Master is using my magic? Yeah, let's do this. I say this area is majorly creepy because look around! This area is as dead as dead can be! Ugh. It's like we have just barren wastelands, we have like, corpses everywhere, just dead fossils, everything, and these creatures. 
Uh, these are known simply as the mud bog creatures. There are three different variants of, the, of those. We've seen two of those already. One of them is just plop. They just uh, pop up right from the ground, or uh, yeah, just ground. Just you don't see them until you're until you're close to until, uh, until you approach them like that. Uh, these guys are just really annoying. They are kind of creepy in their own sense. But, I don't know, th these creatures just kind of seem more like sludge, which kind of makes them more gross than anything, but still, they, they do have that creepy factor because they're, they're in a barren, dead area that's just so lifeless. Like, we, we have some giant snail corpses as well. <laughs> I don't like, th I don't like this area. I, I can't say I don't like this area, but it is kind of cool that we d do have some... Um, Change of pace and atmosphere, I guess. Um, trying to stay on the positive side on, on things. Or whatever. Ugh. These are, in my opinion, some of the worst enemies we, can, we are encountering thus far. Ugh. That's, yeah, that's the third variant of these. These will just hang from the ceiling. They're not really much of anything. They're not much of any threat. And I'll just... If you... You don't want to just want to worry about them. Just avoid them. It's not that difficult to do. I uh, just, uh, just uh, uh. Let's just continue going through here. Got this typical save man. Actually, I should probably use a potion here just to be on the safe side. Uh, the the music even fits this area so. Well, wow. like it's got its own little creepy vibe to it. Like the music here is pretty good, I gotta say, and it's especially amazing that it's super fitting of this creepy, dense area, which really just amplifies the creepiness factor. Uh, you may have seen that up there, the heart squid, but we can't get that quite yet. The ledge for that is too high for us to reach. But for now, we just gotta go over here because there's a cackle bat right here. I'm kind of surprised anything is alive here in this area aside from those um, monsters of monsters made of sludge. A uh, sludge. I don't know. Like it, it, it looks like those monster those monsters are made of sludge. I, it kind of looks like that to me. Whatever, if we just go through here, got all oh, these, ugh, oh, I really hate those guys, like, seriously, like, I always end up running into them, because they just pop up only when you draw close to them. Ugh, oh, I hate those guys, like, seriously, they suck. Okay, should be, should be close to that end of this creepy area, thank goodness, too. Ugh. Oh. Just kill you, kill those bats, go away, I don't like you, especially in this area. Let's go. Ugh, freaking jumped right into that blast. Uh, I've seen many times they just launch the projectiles up in the air and they, they'll spread in like four down all directions. Uh, uh, and here's the... The grand master of all creepiness in this area. Let's just talk to him. What? Who are you? Uh, I am a hexer beyond the skate. Uh, the village of lost souls. Lost souls? It's a place. Uh, separate from those who are living and those who have moved on. Uh, you may not enter this place. What's this? I detect something strange within you. That's why the death mask. Stop. I sense something new. Oh. I did not detect it before. You suffered much in life and cursed the su cause the suffering of others as well. Oh. 
burden is heavy indeed. I sound awful. Wow. I guess it more so has to do with the aura of the death mask. Maybe it could belong to someone who did some a lot of awful deeds. You may enter the village of lost souls. You will forget your suffering and misdeeds. Uh, and remain there for all time. It doesn't help that the entrance to the village of lost souls is a face. Well, let's just go anyways. Yes, welcome to the Village of Lost Souls, where we have just a city different than most, actually. There's a heart grid right there, which is actually pretty easy to get to, just actually, now that I think about it, you can't get that heart grid quite yet. So, I don't know why, what I was thinking there. See, yeah, there's another save man right here. They're getting pretty generous with the save man. Like, four wheels. Alright. So, we go over here and talk to this girl here. Welcome, friend, to the Village of Lost Souls. What's your name? Look familiar somehow. Yeah, yeah, you kind of do, actually. I have no idea who I am. But thank you ever so much for asking. Oh my gosh, you're... Uh... That is... How did you come to be in this village, friend? Uh, I don't know. Nobody knows how they got here. We're all just here. All I know is I'm alone. That's so sad. Yeah, I kind of I, I have to agree with you, Shante. That is kind of sad. I'm only truly happy when I'm asleep. When I sleep... It's like I'm transported to another world, where I, I'm with my family. And wake up, I can't remember them anymore. If only I could remember. She needs help. This sounds kind of serious. Yeah, actually. She, in a, she, in a way, kind of seems like Roddy Tops. You know, the, um, Zambi from the, um, Land of the Living. Yeah. Okay, we can't do everything here, but if you're ever here, blue coin. Yes, this is one of the three coins that that we need. But if you check this, who's at the door? You smell pretty and sweet. Don't you know this is the ob obitate of suffering? The deepest, darkest place in the village of lost souls? It's where stinky new underworlds only get lost. So, yeah, unfortunately, since we're not a stinky new underworld, we can't enter the, um, utter tale of suffering. I won't spoil anything, but keep that in mind, keep that in mind later. For reasons fairly obvious. This is also something to remember. Hmm, looks like th Hmm, looks like there could be you there's uh, looks like there should be fire here. That's also something you kinda wanna remember of later. But for now Green Coin Ahoy I have two of the three coins already. Yeah, this area for the most part is pretty short if you know what to do and where you need to go. I was like, well this how this area looks like, this kind of looks like one of those typical cities, like, from, like, maybe the Stone Age or something. Not, not the Stone Age, that's going too far. From quite a long, t uh, let's say, an ancient city. Okay, yeah, some more of these archers here, but the difference er, it's about these archers is that they will actually fire three arrows as well to the, as opposed to one. So, they are at least different in that respect. But, for the most part, other than that, they're just basically the same. There's another heart squid that we can't do anything about right now. But, 
if I can actually get here. There is this right here, which I don't think that really does much of anything. Oh well. Let's just take down these Nagas. <laughs> okay, those guys just kind of... Those things just kind of sound weird when they die. I don't know. Alright. Don't really, wait, I don't really believe there's like, any way we could possibly get to that ledge right now. I did not want to use that auto potion. Crap! And now I'm completely out, which, which worries me. Alright. So, that platform is actually going to do absolutely nothing for us at the moment. But, let's keep that in mind. And also, water dragon in lava. Okay, that... Uh, okay, that... I know it definitely makes a lava dragon, but come on. A water dragon and lava, how are you not melted? Like, how have you not been melted away? Seriously. Like, I get that, you know, like, video games... Not meant to make sense, you're not supposed to take it seriously, but come on. That's something I find hard to accept. Uh, uh, that's something I kind of find hard to accept, even in the realm of Nintendo logic. <laughs> Oh well. Let's go here. Super Pike Ball. Beautiful. I can definitely use more of those. So that's just the um Super Pike Ball can be really useful in this area. Can be. Then again, there are a lot of situations where um the um super pike ball can be really useful. Alright. Grab this. The red coin Beautiful voice cracks me, yeah. Fantastic. Awesome sauce. Great sauce. Sweet sauce. Cool sauce. All different kinds of sauce. <laughs> I'm just being a weirdo at this point. Let's just <laughs> Let's just head back to the um, main area of the city. Oh, uh, something I completely forgot to mention in the, in the last episode, and something I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode. That fight with Squid Baron, that is actually the moment I was talking about that made me want to let's play this game. You found all of our coins. Should we play, we should play a game. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, we are ready. Let's play the guessing game. Now that the game is to be all three of us in a row. If you guess wrong even once, you have to start over. Guess all three correctly, and our treasure is yours. Okay. For this, we gotta choose either heads or tails. Okay, I'm gonna go with heads. Tossing and heads! Okay, so I think it's gonna be a different each time. So, tails. Correct! Alright. You be the green gamer, now let's play a game. Heads. Tails, uh, lame. <clears throat> okay, I will show a, a few more failed attempts, and if um, I get it wrong a couple more times, I'm just gonna cut into my successful attempt. <sighs> Are you for real? Are you serious? Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Ugh! There we go! Okay. Here comes your prize! You got a locket. And a beautiful looking locket at that. Let's try giving it to this girl. Locket. Is it mine? Uh, I think so, maybe. Here you go. So, does it look familiar? Yes, it does somehow. I'll open it. Oh, look at this! My brothers! I have two brothers! I can remember this so clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Okay, I'm sorry. Him, the one on the right. He's so tall and handsome. He's my big brother. Haha, <laughs> and this guy on the left. He's such a goofball. He's older too, just not by much. They've always looked at. Uh, they always looked after me, but hmm, there should be one more. No problem. Just describe what you can remember. Well, in my dream, 
She comes and goes. She's brilliant and smart, and I wanted to be just like her. She was my very best friend in the whole, in the world. But whenever I reached out, I always managed to... To what? I don't know. Something always goes wrong. I have sent her somehow. I just want to tell her how important her friendship is. And I try to grab on, but she runs away. Then I wake up, and I'm right back here. I think I understand. You do? Yes. I promise to find your friend and tell her exactly how you feel. Oh my gosh, thank you. You know, I think I could really leave this place someday. For now, I'll stay here. And dream of about our adventures together. <clears throat> oh? There's something else. There's someone else here that could use your help. He'll appear to use this... He'll appear to use his light to summon him. Don't be afraid when you see him, okay? The Hopeful Flames! Sweet. There's a fire pit nearby. You can summon him there. You've actually seen this fire pit. Down... This path, actually. Just gotta avoid these reapers. Which isn't really all that much of a problem, but... Trying to kill those reapers are just... Ugh! Trying to kill those reapers are actually a bit of a pain, because they just... Appear quickly... They, they appear, they... Tr they, uh, they just travel across and they disappear quickly. That's kind of why it's so tough to... Ugh, that's, uh, that's why it's tough to kill them, okay. Let's go ahead and use the hopeful flame. Here goes nothing. <coughs> Who oh, start fire? You should no be here. What they call you, young lady? Shante, sir. Shante, hmm. Strange name. Oh, right. I have a daughter myself once. You mean you had a daughter, daughter yourself once? I don't know. A shame to say that I forgot all about. It looks like I forget everything. Joker at door. He says this village of lost souls. I come to this island to find someone I lost. I shoot Grimmin. Shoot Grimlin and cross lock treat her. Now what was her name? Oh, joke is on me. I cannot recall. I have been here much too long. Could be many years. I need to visit Joker at door. By that he means the ghoul that's in front of the mouth to the boss. That's the village of lost souls. I say mouth because I there's no way that's a door. Show him my fist. Maybe smash him his ladder. Wow, someone has a grudge. You should go to. Before you forget why I came here. Oh, I can't leave just yet. I need to find... I need to destroy the evil in this place. Oh, 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 oh. Gutsy. I would be proud to have you as daughter. Here. This get you inside no problem. I go deal with Joker. Okay. Gotta use our magic lamp. To get the manly musk. That's uh, quite a name. Okay. This will grant us access to the order to tell us suffering. Let's see, not yet. Nope, nothing. We'll go ahead and release the manly musk. Oh, Nelly, you smell like some kind of mutant buffalo. Get in here, fella, and let's torture you good. I'll prepare a dragon for some live entertainment. Alright, the order to tell us suffering is now open to us. But, 
we we are gonna save this for the next episode. Next time on Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, we will delve head first into the order to us suffering. See you guys then.